Hello, this is DLJ. I'm currently in Mexico visiting my brother. So please excuse the audio quality. I know it's a little bit echoey. It's because I'm in a very big room with very large windows and a very high ceiling. Blame the architecture. So today, because I'm out of town and because it's July 4th, all my plans are a bit out of sorts. So I thought I'd take this time to talk about this anecdote that is pretty eye-opening, actually. So one time I was talking to two of my friends in Austin who are a married couple. I had just come back from Japan and I was on this real high about idol concerts and shows. And I was super excited to share it with people, namely my friends. So I told them, hey, if you ever make your way to Japan, just let me know. I'll drop everything. I'll go and take you around. And if you guys are willing, I'd love to take you guys to an idol show. So the wife, who I'm really good friends with, says something like, oh, I don't know if I could go to one of those shows. I don't know if I could handle going in there and then having all these guys stare at me. And so I replied, well, well what do you mean? And she was like, well, I, I don't know if I would feel safe. I mean, all those guys would be just like creeping on me and looking at me in a sexual way. And I laughed because I was like, is, is that what you think is going on? at these shows? So here's how I responded. I said, first of all, no one's gonna be looking at you. Everyone's gonna be focused on the stage and watching the show. No one's even gonna notice that you came in. And secondly, it's not like there aren't any women who go to these shows at all. It's not like when a girl walks in as a fan, they suddenly stop the show and everybody has to point her out. Oh, a woman, a woman came to the show. You think they have to stop the show so that everyone can compose themselves? What do you think happens? I mean, you, you know, like sometimes they have wardrobe malfunctions, right? Like where one of the idol's tops will come off and you'll see like part of her bra or something. And I shit you not, her reaction was, oh my God, was she okay? And I was like, well, what do you mean she, was she okay? She just kind of played it off and put it back on and went on with the show. I mean, what else would have happened? Do you think all of a sudden all the male fans started whipping out their dicks and start beating off or something? And preparing for some sort of massive bukake? Just because part of an idol's bra was exposed? And you could tell that my friend was visibly concerned that this is something that actually crossed her mind, that she maybe even believed was true, that she was worried for the safety of this girl, and that she thought she might be sexually assaulted in the middle of a show. I mean, I've known this person for 10 years. I went to their wedding, and they were the ones that I went to when I was going through my first breakup. But somehow she had gotten this idea that like, Japan was full of perverts and pedophiles and deviants. To the point where she was having a hard time believing what one of her friends was telling her. I mean, she had never been to Japan, but somehow all of these things that she had read on the internet or seen on TV, all these stereotypes that have been reinforced, were suddenly seeping into her mind as truths. I mean, how many times have you seen on TV or film them make the seppuku joke, which is ritualistic suicide? Or the joke about, hey, I'm Japanese, let's go watch, you know, a schoolgirl bang an octopus. I mean, we're supposed to laugh because they're just jokes, but I think those images have been shown so much that some people have a hard time differentiating between what is real. It's to the point now where fear trumps everything else. It didn't matter that it was me bringing one of my friends to a show. I mean, obviously I would be there with her and with her husband, and I wouldn't put her in a situation where her safety was a concern. And even if those were all not the case, you'd have to believe that a room of 100 or 200 people would sit idly by and allow for an assault to happen? Or even worse, join in on the assault? I mean, how does a person get to the point where that's where logic takes them? It's kind of a scary thought. And to this day, I still wish I could bring that friend to Japan and show her around. I've taken dozens of people to shows before. And still to this day, I haven't gotten somebody who said, hey, that was really creepy and I felt uncomfortable. Maybe they didn't enjoy the show because that's not their thing, but never that they were uncomfortable. Actually, the best compliment I probably ever got was, hey, I totally get it now why you're into this stuff. So I guess seeing is believing. And if any of you are interested, and I mean genuinely, honestly interested in finding out more, we can set up some sort of actual DLJ experience where I'll take you out to a show and we can get your opinions firsthand. So thanks for listening. I'm going to try to get a couple more videos done before I leave Mexico. Look out for them in the next few days and we'll see you tomorrow.